Hey son, hey. I am Pixel Pia. Today we are going to create a new personal Facebook account. So let's move over to my computer and get started. So here we are at facebook.com and we start by create new account. The first thing we have to do is to put in some personal information. First and last name, mobile number or email. I'm going to work with the mobile number right now. A password and our birth date. We get a code sent to our mobile and I put it in in the next window. After that our account is created and the first thing we see is some suggested friends to add to our account. I'm not doing this right now. Instead we go next and here we have add a p profile picture. This is the very first thing I do, and in this case I just choose a silly one. I can write a little description, and as you could see I could drag the picture into the center and save. Now let's take a look at the profile. Everything that's there right now is my profile picture. Now let's start looking at important things in settings. Settings and privacy and go to settings. First we have the general account setting, our name and so forth. Under security and login we have crack your important security settings. And here you can do several things. I'm just showing quickly, but I think it's important that you go through these layers to make your account secure. You can also turn on alerts from Facebook Messenger and to get text message and this is to let you know if someone logs into your account. If we look under display and accessibility we can switch to dark mode which I prefer usually. We can use compact mode so everything gets a little smaller and we can change the settings for our keyboard. Now let's add a cover photo. If I click select photo I see photos that I have uploaded but I want to upload a new one and let's take this little noom and add him as my cover photo and I can reposition it by just dragging it and when I'm happy I save the changes. We can add a bio with a few words who I am. And in the about section there is a lot of things you can add, workplace, high school, college and so forth, depending on how much you want people to find you. Let's go back to setting and look at the things I think it's important to change right away. Let's start under security and login. It shows where you are logged in from or have been. You can change your password. You can set up two-factor authentication which I recommend, extra security and advanced. You can also go in and check what information is available about you on Facebook. It's split up into different categories so you can see what is there. You can download your information, check your activity and manage your information on the view here. And maybe more important you can both deactivate or delete your Facebook account from here. Deactivate is temporarily, delete is permanent. Under privacy you can also determine who can see things you do. Public, friends, friends except and there you can specify persons, specific friends or only me. Only me will make it totally private. In my next video I will show how you can change this for each post you make. You can do this for many different things under here. Your friends lists, your pages and so forth. And the alternatives are the same for everybody. Public, friends, friends accept, specific friends, only me. You can also do this for how people can find you and contact you on Facebook. So this is the second area I think it's important to go through when you set up a new account. The third area is profile and tagging. And after that we have blocking. These I will not go into detail but I suggest that you look at both profile and tagging and blocking 
to decide what's important. The rest of it I'm just showing really fast here. And I suggest that you take a quick look at them. The notification settings is about how you will be notified about activities on your Facebook account. So as I said, security and login, privacy and tagging are the three areas that I definitely think you shall go over and change the settings so they fit your wants and your needs. This was just the very first look at Facebook. I will continue this series and if you have any specific topics you want me to cover, please leave a comment down below. In my next video I will talk about the many different ways you can use to interact with other people using Facebook. Remember, never stop learning.